Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Powerhouse here with another one of my Let's Play Stars Battlefront 2. This is Mission 4. This is the second space mission. This is over Kashyyyk. So, name this one is a little bit more challenging mission because now we have a resource count. When the Separatists' invasion of Kashyyyk caught the Republic flat-footed, a detachment of the 501st was sent in to stop the bleeding until reinforcements could arrive. It was a textbook suicide mission and we knew it. As we fought our way into Kashyyyk's atmosphere, most of us believed that the only way we'd be getting off this thing off this planet was in a body. In a body. So anyways, this is the start of the mission, you know, pilot, uh, marine, same thing for like any standard, um, space mission. If we're going to pass through, we'll need to weaken their forces. Pilots, focus your attacks on their support ships. And me, like a dummy, I take out a fighter, which usually I take out a bomber anyway, so the reason why I did this, I have no clue. And if you notice why I haven't been shooting all those torpedoes is because you have to wait a while before you can get to shoot the next one. Usually the only thing that hits me is not really the space the fighters, but the uh auto turrets that are located on on the ships. So at this point I'm like, yo, this is taking way too long. I might as well just go get another bomb. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to go back and just get the, the um. This is not a drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. And the SIS uh, frigate defenses, they they have uh, two frigates that fight. They have two, I think they're called Barking Clans comp ships, I think. I forgot the specific name of it at this moment, but it says it right there. I don't know if you can read it, though. Yeah, today I'm a little sick, but I gotta make this one. There's really not to talk about for this mission because there's not really that much you have to do for this mission. There's just like a few objectives, but they're really self explanatory. So I'm going to explain uh, basically my strategy. Usually, I don't like to go inside uh, these the large ships. What I usually like to do is, is uh, stay outside. Their ship guns are pounding our shields. Take out those heavy turrets. Is um when I'm out is uh that I would like to stay outside and sometimes I shoot the fighters. I decide not to do that because usually I just go with a bomb. Watch your tail. And yeah, for this one I have to destroy the heavy turrets, which is not really too hard. Usually one set of bombs. Destroys them all. Four bombs exactly destroys them all. Well, destroys each other. Take out that starfire! Well done, pilot. Head back to the hangar for your next objective. Bomber incoming. Repeat. Bomber incoming. 
I don't know if they sent a bomber for me, me or for an enemy bomber, but either way, it's what it is. We need you to take an LAAT into the enemy hangar, land it, and destroy the ship's internal system. Okay, so the reason why I fast forward it is because all I was doing for a while, for about a minute or two, was just sitting there waiting for my ship to get filled up. Um, notable difference I've learned about this game is that in the first one, when you would drive these, these uh, LAAT gunships, right? Republic gunships, whatever you want to call them. When I used to drive these, they used to have six people could fit. It was the pilot, the co-pilot, I think two of them or something like that, I forgot. And then the ones for the two turrets, and there was one passenger. And what I used to do sometimes is when I would play multiplayer with my brother, we used to just, uh, I used to just be like passenger and then we would just land somewhere and then we would just come out and just destroy everybody. And I did that for uh, when I when it was the AI piloting. That was a dumbass mistake because the reason why is when the pilots, when the computer pilots are driving the gunship. Make your way to their critical systems and destroy their fuel and life support systems. That when the AI is driving the gunship, they'll crash into like random stuff. So when I was at Geonosis, they were crashing into like rocks and stuff like that. I'm like, what the hell? I could have easily avoided that, but that's what I. Was. So I have to move on to the next uh, critical um, system. And yeah, if you saw right there, they got some uh, clone troopers just chilling, controlling the turrets. I don't even know why. I have to try to do this quick, there's like a whole mess of them. So I'm to just keep doing these like running guns tactics. Like I'll sit by next to uh getting healed, then I'll run back. I'll um try to pick up something if I could. Of like if they dropped health or ammo or something like that. And I'll run back to the droid. Now I was trying at that point I was trying to put the um time bomb down, but I didn't want to turn my back because I thought I was gonna die, so There's just mad, like a horde of them just coming in, and I have to just stay here and just fend them off. But it's not really too difficult, it's just time consuming. So, yeah, I just throw a bomb here and I run away. Command has an easy mission, pilot. Grab the enemy's battle plan holocron and bring it back to our hangar. It's basically a capture the flag thing after running here. I'm gonna have to capture the uh, flag, but here it's like some hollow disc or something like that, I don't even know. And um, yeah, I'll put a bomb here, hopefully it kills most of these guys. This is way too many. I wonder how that dude is just chilling there. My clone trooper is just chilling there, teammate. And he can't even help me out. I pretty much couldn't make it. So anyway, let's fast forward this. Now I'm a Marine now, so... I'll be able to take him off pretty easily. Now I got it. Uh, will I make it? Let's find out. I'm 
My gunship's still here, but I'm not gonna take that if I wanna leave. Instead, I'll just take one of their droid ships. And I'll get out of there. I just take the blind one because it's the closest thing near me, so. <laughs> I'm taking it and I'm out of here. So I just wanted to go look to see what would happen if they would shoot me, and I was in the hangar. And basically the the uh, missiles just hit the shield, so I'll be all good. And found sp the place to put it. Well done, man. Now let's get down there and liberate the sheep. Bomber incoming. Repeat. Bomber incoming. Okay, that's the end of the mission. Power off, signing off. As the 501st finally broke through the SEP blockade over Kashyyyk, I took a long look back at the battle that continued to rage over the planet and wondered why so many had to die for a bunch of walking carpets. Then I followed my orders and turned planetward.